Back in the beginning of transoceanic flights, airports where planes could land and refuel were rare in many regions, like the Pacific and coastal areas of South America and Africa. Flying boats were an answer to that problem, as all they need was relatively quiet waters to land and take off. It did not need overly complicated facilities. After World War II, hundreds of military airfields on remote islands were converted to serve civil aviation, and the large, expensive flying boats of the 1930s were no longer needed. As a result, the big transoceanic flying boats were no longer favored by cheaper and faster conventional planes. But Japan and China are reviving giant flying boats. Japan's Shinmeiwa US-2 and China's AVIC AG-600. What is their real purpose? Japan's Shinmeiwa US-2 and China's AVIC AG-600 are classified as large amphibious aircraft. Shinmeiwa US-2 is the continuation of the aging US-1 design. It provides search and rescue, maritime patrol, firefighting, medical evacuation, and logistical support to the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. This is the largest amphibious flying boat built until China produced the amphibian AG-600, which flew for the first time in 2017. But the AG-600 is not officially operational, while the US-2 is operated by the 31st Fleet Air Wing of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. The Japanese aircraft has shown its surprisingly short takeoff and landing capabilities during test flights. Although the US-2 has a similar appearance to classical flying boats, it is a remarkably modern aircraft. It has a glass cockpit, a digital flight control system, and four Rolls-Royce AE2001 Ritz-J turboprop engines, producing 4,600 horsepower each. In its firefighting configuration, she can deploy an impressive 15 tons of water. The performance of the US-2 is also very impressive. It cruises around at 480 km per hour at 6,000 meters and has a range of 4,700 km. It can also land in some really rough seas with waves up to around 9 feet tall. For Japan, an island's country, the US-2 means a lot, giving it flexibility in emergency, search, and rescue situations. Its only downside is that it costs a lot of money. The price of the 6 one ordered in 2013 was $156 million. Two more are currently under construction, and apparently in such small numbers they cost that much. Countries like India, Thailand, Indonesia, and Greece have all expressed interest in this Japanese plan, but no contracts have been signed. If produced the larger quantities, the cost of the US-2 becomes much more attractive. For China, the rise of this most populous nation and Beijing's extraterritorial claims 
place a new value on the potential that a large amphibian can offer. Hence, the recent China self developed the AG-600 at considerable cost. The AG-600 is an ambitious China project, and it seems that, in addition to its civilian features, China wants to turn it into a strategic aircraft for its maritime purposes. China spent 8 years researching and building the AG-600 with the size of a Boeing 737, equipped with four WJ-6 turboprop engines, a range of about 4,500 km, reaches a maximum speed of about 560 km per hour, can carry 50 people and operates continuously for 12 hours. Beijing has many times been proud when the AG-600 surpassed Japan Shinmeiwa US-2 and Russia Briev B-200 to become the largest amphibian currently being produced with a fuselage length of 39.3 meters and a wingspan of 38.8 meters. The Chinese government currently has 17 on order although that number could rise dramatically if missionized variants are also put into production. With a maximum takeoff weight of 53.5 tons, the AG-600 is far ahead of the US-2 and B-200, with a maximum takeoff weight of about 40 to 45 tons, respectively. According to the manufacturer, the AG-600 flying boat can make a round trip flight from Hainan Island to Malaysia James Reef, currently declared by China as the southernmost part of the country's territory, without need refueling. The AG-600's rings also allows it to fly direct flights from Chinese military bases to islands it has illegally built in the South China Sea. More dangerous, the super flying boat can also operate in many different seas in all weather conditions. China Aviation Industry General Aircraft has confirmed that the AG-600 is built with four missions, search and rescue, firefighting, transport, and maritime surveillance. But observers believe that, with these parameters, Beijing is clearly developing the AG-600 for the military destination. Observers say that Beijing's schemes are far deeper than what they say. The fact that the Chinese state media announced the AG-600 to perform a successive test flight showed that this plane was ready for service. Fasli Kashin, an analyst at the Russian Center for Strategic and Technology Analysis, said, although Chinese advertising materials have no mention of military purposes, history shows that Few amphibious aircraft were used solely for civilian purposes. It appears that the AG-600 will be used to support China's highly disputed and ever-growing man-made island outpost in the South China Sea. They will most certainly also be used for patrolling large squads of water namely for contested and resource-rich waterways of the South China Sea. The AG-600 will likely be used for spotting, monitoring, and tracking fishing fleets, energy exploration vessels, and other nations' claims and redoubts around the highly disputed body of water. Both AG-600 and Shinmeiwa US-2 can be easily weaponized, at least 
in a surveillance drawer. It may even be supplemented with a large radar to provide surveillance for naval ships and anti-ship missiles on land and at sea. My video about what are Beijing and Tokyo doing with the AVIC AG-600 and Shin Megawa US-2 Ansio. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.